Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be discussing how to use homeopathic remedies on ailments, continuing with brain and nervous system ailments, starting with the letter M and N. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists, so that it's easy to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Please refer to my How to Use Homeopathic Remedies video before using the material in this video. I'll be discussing how to use homeopathic remedies on specific ailments, but I've broken down these ailments into categories for easier reference. I'll begin with ailments of the mind and emotions, then move on to ailments of the brain and nervous system, and then issues of the skin, nails and hair, eyes, ears, nose, teeth, gums, lungs, respiration, heart, blood circulation, muscles, bones, joints, esophagus, stomach, duodenum, small, large intestines, liver, gallbladder, and pancreas, then ailments of the kidney and bladder, then ailments specific to women and specific to men, then issues of the hormones and metabolism. After that, I'll address the issues of homeopathic remedies on infections and infestations and the immune system. Then issues surrounding fertility, pregnancy, and surrounding childbirth and postnatal problems. Then homeopathic remedies that address special problems in infants, ailments and diseases in childhood, and special issues of adolescence. And finally, special issues of the elderly. Constitutional treatment involves treating the totality of the individual person. Everyone is a unique individual with unique physiology that responds to substances differently. In homeopathy, it's recognized that people will react strongly to certain remedies, and as a result of this, they can be loosely placed into different categories called constitutional types. Homeopaths talk, for example, of phosphoric types. These are people who react strongly to phosphorus or arsenicum album types those who react strong, strongly to arsenicum album. The belief is that people of one type share similarities in terms of body shape, character, and personality, and the sorts of diseases from which they suffer. As an example, natrum muir people tend to be pear-shaped, have a dark complexion, be fastidious and rigid in personality, and keep themselves to themselves. They also crave salt and suffer from constipation. As another example, lycopodium types tend to be tall, gangly, and of stooped appearance, with an anxious expression and a craving for sweets, and a propensity to produce intestinal gas. Of course, constitutional types have their limitations. In reality, each person is an individual, and so there are as many constitutional types as there are human beings, and account must be taken of the sum total of the person's inherent predispositions past illnesses, diet, general reactions to the environment, intellectual and emotional features, and general attitude towards life. This is what is meant by constitutional treatment. I'll be making detailed videos of the various constitutional types after I've completed the use of homeopathic remedies on ailments. The ideas, procedures, and suggestions in this video and all my homeopathic videos are not intended as a substitute for the medical advice of a trained health professional. Consult your physician before adopting the suggestions in this video. If you're pregnant, do not attempt these techniques without the approval of your physician. So, let's continue with learning how homeopathic treatments can help with brain and nervous system ailments. Today, we'll continue with brain and nervous system ailments that begin with the letter M and N. Meningitis. Meningitis is a viral or bacterial infection of the delicate membranes, the men meninges, that surround the brain. The symptoms are fever, nausea, and vomiting, a stiff neck, a severe headache that is made worse by bending forward, and intolerance of light. There's also possible confusion and delirium, and then abnormal sleepiness or drowsiness, and perhaps coma. If meningitis is suspected, see a doctor within two hours and choose one of the homeopathic remedies that follow. Specific remedies. For meningitis, where the symptom, symptoms onset after a head injury, use Arnica 30C. For meningitis, where the symptoms are accompanied by restlessness, Fear, 
dry skin, and great thirst, use aconite 30C. For meningitis, where the person is very hot and delirious with staring eyes, use belladonna 30C. For meningitis with a severe headache made worse by the slightest eye movement and where the person is becoming steadily more depressed and comatose, use bryonia 30C. Multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis is damaged nerve fibers in the central nervous system caused by inflammation of the fatty tissue, the myelin, the sheaths and it that, that sheaths and insulates them. Symptoms vary depending on the site of the damage. The homeopathic approach is constitutional. Most people, when they are ill, suffer not only from the basic diagnostic symptoms of the disease, but also from other symptoms that are specific to each person. In orthodox medicine, these individual symptoms are mostly unimportant, but in homeopathy, they are vital for giving the correct description. This is why different patients may receive different remedies for the same disease. Specific remedies to be given four times daily for up to two weeks while waiting for constitutional treatments to kick in. For multiple sclerosis where the, where the reflexes are exaggerated and the episode is linked to some kind of emotional upset and the person tends to be faint to faint easily use phosphorus 6c for multiple sclerosis where the person has very jerky movements of the hands feet and tongue use tarantella tarantula 6c for multiple sclerosis where the person feels sharp shooting pains and their movements are very weak and shaky use agaricus 6c for multiple sclerosis, where there is weakness in the back and limbs made worse by exercise and leaving the person very fatigued and in pain, there could also be a complete paralysis of the affected limb. Use Califos 6C. For multiple sclerosis, where the person experienced painful spasms of twitching and jerking that is soothed by warmth, pressure, and fiction, friction, use Magnesia Foss. 6c. Neuralgia and neuritis. Neuralgia and neuritis is pain or tingling from damaged or inflamed peripheral nerves. These are the nerves that are not in the brain or spinal cord. Some forms of neuralgia and neuritis are mild and temporary. Others can be recurrent or severe such as sciatica. This affects the sciatic nerve in the leg and trigeminal neuralgia, which are shooting pains in the main facial nerve. Most people, when they are ill, suffer not only from the basic diagnostic symptoms of the disease, but also from other symptoms that are specific to each person. In orthodox medicine, these individual certain symptoms are mostly unimportant, but in homeopathy, they are vital for giving the correct prescription. This is why different patients may receive different remedies for the same disease. Specific remedies to be given four times daily for up to two weeks while constitutional help is kicking in. For neuralgia and neuritis, where the nerves flare up after exposure to cold and the affected part of the body feels congested as well as numb, use aconite 30C. For neuralgia and neuritis, where the attack is brought on by dry cold and the person feels chilly, exhausted, and is restless, and the area feels burning or searing pains, use arsenicum 6C. For neuralgia and neuritis, where the attack is brought on by cold or damp, and the pain is violent and lacerating, and is better with the application of heat, especially if the person is suffering from facial neuralgia, use colosynth, colosynth 6C. For neuralgia and neuritis pain that is worse after sleep, use lachesis 6C. For neuralgia and neuritis pain that is alleviated by heat and pressure, use magnesia fos 6C. For neuralgia and neuritis that is affecting the rib cage or located above the right eye, use ranun ranunculus 6C. For neuralgia and neuritis pain above the left eye, 
that is made worse by movement, use Spigelia 6C. I have a great many videos now on many different topics, so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.